Good morning, everyone. Uh, Gabriel got us up at 5.30 this morning, and I very quickly realized that we're out of coffee. So I'm making a quick run to the grocery store because if uh, we're gonna make it through today, I'm gonna need some coffee. Seriously, when am I not at this grocery store? And why are there so many people here this early in the morning? So y'all know I have impulse control problems when it comes to the grocery store. I end up buying stuff we don't need, but uh, I decided to get cinnamon rolls. Don't judge me, they were a dollar. Somebody's up from what we consider finishing his night's sleep. <laughs> you looking at the what? light fixture. He <laughs> got lights. Focus on the road, buddy. That's what makes a good driver. Can <laughs> you say light? Loose? Looses? Looses? <laughs> you in a good mood? So we fell asleep in our bouncer this morning. <laughs> insert picture. Yeah, insert picture here. Boop. So now, I'm, w I'm wondering if he'll fall asleep in his walker one day. Just tucking himself out. Maybe tomorrow when he wakes up at 5.30, run into the dog dish. I'll put him in his walker and let him walk around until he falls asleep in that. You're in a good moving mood today, huh? So we are going to Anaheim, California this weekend, and a little bit of next week actually for a work conference for Sarah. And I've got quite a few chores that need to get done. Sarah's got a full day meeting today. She's going to be away from the house until about 9.30 tonight, so I've got to do everything, uh, including his nighttime routine, which is typically Sarah's uh, job. That's, that's a terrible way to put it. It's something that she she does. Um, he's pulling clothes out of the dirty laundry. <laughs> I've gotta I've gotta wash the laundry. I gotta get the house straightened up, and get things ready for us to go out of town. Cause you know, like I've said in previous videos, I like to have the house clean and everything done before we go. So when we come back, the house is clean, and you just kind of come back and uh, decompress. So I've got quite a bit to get done this morning. You help me with the laundry? Mommy's dirty shirt. You can bring it over here. This is where it goes. So this kid has been doing something new where he fights his naps. Not like a normal baby fight na fights naps, but like screams like he's being attacked by an animal. So his body says, I'm tired and need sleep. His voice says, there's a dingo trying to take me out of my crib. Someone come save me. So we're going to go for a walk after I get this laundry sorted and started. Hopefully, kind of knock him out. Make the next nap go smoothly so I can pack. Okay, we need some advice. Some tips for traveling with a baby. I kind of feel like you guys owe us that uh, salad tongs and the laundry life hack we shared a few videos back. Anyway, Gabriel's going to take his first plane ride 
this weekend and it's not just like a little dinky one hour plane ride he's going to be in the air we're going to be in a, it's a three hour flight so any sort of advice you have for keeping babies happy in an airplane that long would be greatly appreciated we've gotten a few tips from frequent travelers you know bringing a blanket so they can kind of roll around on the floor in the terminal which sounds gross but that's why you have the blanket kind of let them get some of the squirming out and stuff like that breastfeeding during takeoff and landing we're gonna take his little earmuff headphone thingies to help cancel out some of the noise but you know I have been the angry guy behind the crying kid on these flights <laughs> on more than one occasion and I always always think man what why do those people do something about that I guess this is karma because now I gotta figure out what to do about that if it happens so you guys help me out if you know anything comments down there tell us what you've done what you did flying with nine month olds uh, we've got a couple of new toys he's never seen before kind of occupy his mind we really don't want to have to use screens like iPads or our phones if we can avoid it honestly I think you'd rather just chew on our phones before actually watching something on it but uh, so any tips any tips you guys have at all would be uh, greatly appreciated let us know um, what you've done okay. I, uh, I think that one's ready for a nap, so we're gonna head home. Yeah. Okay? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't look very comfortable. Yeah. I'm gonna get you home to your bed. Okay, we're back. He is asleep, not asleep. You know, woke up just enough to realize that I was putting him down for a nap and he didn't want to do that, so now he's kind of, you know, to fall asleep for a few minutes and then wake up and, and cry about it. So anyway, I'm going to take what little time I might have because who knows when this will turn, go from little complaining into full-on uh, tantrum. So I'm going to take what time I got, get some chores done. This little guy finally woke up. Actually, I say finally. He only slept for about 37 minutes. But he was hungry. So we're having lunch. We're having lunch. You like mm -hmm. it? How was that lunch? Okay. Is that okay? Is that all you just okay? Okay. Oh. We're pooping. Uh, <laughs> you pooping? Yeah. Yeah. He's pooping. But he's so sweet. <laughs> Maybe we could just change this to Gabriel's vlog and let you talk to the camera for 10 minutes.
Puppies? You see the puppies? <laughs> All right, we got a diaper to change. Thought this might be fun. Time for some Gabriel Cam. All right, so some time has passed. Gabriel had that bottle about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, I got all that laundry folded. Uh, a couple of my other chores are done, so we're almost to the point where I can just kind of sit back. <laughs> yeah, sit back, right? I can uh, just make sure that we have a good day. We hang out. But it's now time for some solid food, his afternoon solid food. We're gonna have little BNS butternut squash. This guy hey. seems to like it. Hey. Hey. See, he's starting to get kind of excited. That's cruel, I'm teasing him. All right, let's eat. And he's done. Clean bib, clean hands, clean table. Just a little bit on his face. Yeah. I don't know how... Yeah. You like it when I do it? Such a clean experience. Yeah. Mommy gets it all over your face, doesn't she? In your hands, your hair. <laughs> You're right. I'm picking mommy. All right, let's get you cleaned up. All right, he's been fed. I got this last basket of laundry to fold. And then that should be it for the chores. And then he and I can just hang out the rest of the day until Mama gets home. Mommy's working late today, so they're FaceTiming. Are you talking to the camera? Yeah, you got something you want to say? Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, handsome. <laughs> Are you pooping? What are you doing? <laughs> He's looking at himself <laughs> like with, with this really just baffled look. Okay, it's come to that time of the night. <laughs> I've got to do baby massage. Which means we got our spatula for the diaper cream. We got our Burt's Bees lotion for his little eczema. Some specific little Aveeno eczema cream, something like that. Diapers, wipes, baby. Then I'm going to attempt to put him down. This is usually mama, mommy and Gabriel time. I used to keep him distracted, but we kind of realized that I was getting him riled up when he needed to be calmed down. So the two of them spend this time together. But I'm going to attempt to, to do that tonight. So we'll see how that goes. We look kind of orange. I think the white balance is off. Anyway, 
We have successfully done baby massage. It's time for our bottle and then hopefully sleep. So we missed mommy today, but she'll be back tomorrow and everything will be back to normal. Okay. All right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment and tell us some baby traveling tips. And be sure to subscribe. Click that bell. See you guys next time.